afternoon, friends. Okay, glad to have you back in the building. Uh, so uh, thank you for uh, joining us here today. We we saw this uh, take place uh, back in June uh, when there there are some law enforcement uh, that uh, wear uniforms that that make them appear military in appearance. Um, the secretary uh, has uh, has expressed a, a concern of this um, within the administration that we, we want a system where people can tell the difference. Um, I, I'm not aware of any direct conversations with uh, with DHS on this particular uh, deployment or their particular operations in Portland over the last uh, week or so. Uh, but I can say that unequivocally, there are no Department of Defense assets that have uh, been deployed to or are. Uh, pending deployment to, or we're looking to deploy to uh, to Portland at this time. So, as as part of the uh, after action review for uh, what took place uh, first week, last week of uh, of May, first week of June, um, the Department of the Army and um, and the other entities doing the review is to look at some of the concerns we have. And uh, one of the ones I know the secretary did raise um, and that he wanted to have uh, looked at was uh, the um, identification and uh, how how visible and it, people's ability to understand who is who. I know he has expressed his concern that in some cases um, law enforcement appropriately performing law enforcement duties were misconstrued with military personnel uh, who uh, who would not be appropriately doing those those roles. And so he has raised that. Last, I mean, would the secretary like to see law enforcement personnel not wear the same camouflage pattern uniform as military personnel? So I think that's, that's going to be part of the question in the, the, the review. Um, I, I think that'll be something we'll, we'll talk to uh, um, to the, the, those who are doing the review and then maybe have a conversation with uh, the Attorney General and his team and, and uh, Secretary Wolf at DHS. Uh, but I, I don't have a timeline on that and I don't have uh, any guideline from the Secretary on what that would look like, but he has expressed uh, an interest in the topic. The President says he's going to veto the NDAA if the language including the naming of the bases named after Confederate generals is included in that. Um, is that a good idea? What impact will it have on um, on this building, on the defense budget, if it's delayed over this issue? And where does the secretary stand on the Confederate base issue? So on, on the NDA, um, the the issue is now clearly within the, the legislative realm. I think uh, both the House and the Senate have included language regarding that. The president has made his position incredibly clear on this. Uh, and so uh, from the department's perspective, uh, we are confident that the, uh, the administration and Congress will uh, reach an agreement. They understand the, the importance of the NDA. Uh, we're confident that there will be an agreement and that the NDA will be signed uh, and implemented on time so that we can have a, a budget for, for our forces. Can I just follow up? 